Good morning, ladies. This new exhibit is fabulous. Art's always beautiful, right? But it's incredible when you put artwork and you bring it to life on a bourbon barrel. It's got the spirit of Kentucky. You can check out these barrels at the Fraser History Museum. We've got 20 local artists that have designed these for local charities. We're going to tell you all about it. We get to introduce you to two local artists this morning. Over here, we have Gail Corso. Gail, what I love about this is each of you have just brought these unique designs to life. Tell us about yours. Uh, well, mine is obviously I did bourbon barrels. I wanted to pick or bear, bourbon bottles. Excuse me. I wanted to pick <clears throat> something that you know obviously represented Kentucky. Uh, looking for something that brought out the lights and shadows. Bottles. What you know, a simple thing that you can kind of bring life to. And, and really, I mean, your design it just like pops off of this bourbon barrel. I mean, look at this Blanton's bottle. You can really see that intricate design. Um, how long did it take you to to make this? You know, I have a lot of people ask me that, and it's really difficult for me to judge because I worked it in during a busy season, and I would do a lot of nights, weekends, and use it actually as a break from what I normally do, which is another type of art, but... Uh, so I don't know how many hours, but it was it took a long time for well, sure. Well, obviously, you did an incredible job. Now, each artist, you can vote on these one of 20 barrels, and um, you can whichever artist wins, they're going to get a cash prize. They get to donate to a charity of their choice. Uh, which charity did you choose? I chose Kentucky Humane Society. Uh, it, animals mean a lot to me. I mean, they just I feel like they're always there for you, and they're they're just, you know, there's so many animals out there that just need that forever home, and they're waiting. Uh, so I thought I, I, I've been impressed with all the different charities and all the different art and I don't, animals were just what yeah. I went for. And that's the best part of this, Gail. Thanks so much for showing us this because all this, it's going to support local charities no matter who you vote for. Now we are going to head into the secret speakeasy here at the Fraser Museum. I think the secret password is bourbon barrels. Yep. Let's see. All right. We have another local artist back here waiting for us. We have Leanne Alcon. Leanne, look at your design. How would you describe it? Uh, well, lately I've been working on a series of whimsical art, so I wanted to carry that onto the barrel. Wow. But I also wanted to incorporate um, things that represented Louisville and Kentucky, such as the horse culture, the woman wearing the ornate hat for the derby. We've got the golden rod, state flower, corn. And then I wanted to use two beautiful women drinking bourbon because it's usually depicted with men. So. Oh, yeah. This is incredible. And it's so unique. I mean, each of you, you have got such a different style. And uh, I just was talking to Gail about the, uh, the charity she chose. Which charity did you choose for this? Um, I chose Blanket Louisville. Mm -hmm. And why did you choose that one? Um, I think homelessness is something that people don't realize how easily mm -hmm. it could just happen. And I've noticed when I moved here that there was, you know, quite a bit of it, especially yeah. in the downtown area. So. There really is. And, and that's the best part about this. I've said it. I'll say it again. This all goes to local charities. You can come out to the Fraser History Museum and see all of these barrels. There's 20 of them, so a lot more than the ones we've just showed you. You have until March 30th to check them all out and cast your vote online. Um, and I wanted to mention, too, uh, Carrie and Alex, I heard you guys talking earlier about, well, what if you want to buy one of the barrels? They are all already purchased by sponsors. That's where a lot of the, the money for charity came from uh, but if you want one I'm hearing that you can contact the local artists and ask them if they'll make one just for you oh. I, I bet that's not cheap oh for <laughs> sure to have something personally yeah. done for you well I mean they've made they've raised sixty three thousand dollars so. amazing yes <laughs> yes but it is it is a statement piece yeah. for sure if you wanted to have one of those mm -hmm. in your home all right mm -hmm. Madeline we'll check in with you in just a little bit Matt how's the weather